Okay everyone, in this tutorial we are going to look into the basics of LED Edit K version Pixel LED programming software. For this tutorial I'm going to use LED Edit K 2019. If you want to download this software version, the links are in the description. I'm going to double click on the desktop icon. Okay, this is the interface. The first step is to create a new project. In order to do that, go to file and select new project which will bring up the new project window here you have a list of controllers select your controller from this list and type the max number of pixel leds you are about to control in my case 1024 all right uh, select a path to save your project and click ok now it's time to create a layout. Layout is how you place your pixel LEDs in the physical product. So you can see how it looks like when you are programming. Okay, in order to create a new layout, click on edit layout, which will bring up the LED layout window. There are several ways to create a layout. You can import a DXF file, you can import a CJB file, or you can manually create a layout by placing each pixel. For this tutorial I'm going to use auto layout. Auto layout can be used to create a panel layouts. So square or rectangular shape panel layout. I'm going to create 32 by 32 panel layout. I'm going to type the amount of pixels on the horizontal plane 32 and I'm about to type the amount of pixels on the vertical plane. The max number of LEDs per port, in my case 1024. I'm going to click OK. Alright, now place your layout anywhere you want. I'm going to place it here. Left click when you are ready to place. Click on save and close. Alright, here's your layout. As you can see, the port 1 has been added to the list. Port 1, uh, which have 1024 pixel LEDs. Okay, the next step is to program. I'm going to select the program tab here. And as you can see, the program 1 has already been added to the list. I'm going to select that. You can add more programs using this add button. If you want to delete a program, click on this delete button. You can change the position of your programs in the list using up and down buttons. Okay, I'm going to select the program 1 and I'm going to effect tab okay there are several methods you can use to program you have open video you can play a video and record it you can screen capture you can play text while you are recording the video alright I'm going to open the video uh, you have these uh, libraries you can also use them. You can add more effects to this library by selecting the select effect library button. You can browse and select the library. From a list, okay. Which will add the files inside that folder to your library. I'm going to select the effect. As you can see the animation is now playing. You can also reduce and increase the speed of the animation. Uh, you can get to the original frame rate by clicking on this original button. You can select open video and select the effect on your hard disk or you can create your library. Alright, I'm going to select open video and I'm going to select uh, animation and I'm going to select open. Now the animation is playing on the layout. We are still not recording the animation. 
in order to record the animation click on this recording button or you can also use this fast recording video button okay keep your eye on the total number right here which will show you the number of frames that has been recorded I'm going to click on the recording button all right as you can see the number of total frames increasing I'm going to stop the recording by clicking on the stop recording button right here now as you can see I have recorded 221 frames but you can see the animation is still playing uh, you can stop that by clicking on the close video capture button right here all right now to check what has been recorded click on the play preview button right here which will show you what has been recorded if you want to pause click on the pause button you can use this slider to check out what has been recorded there are several things when it comes to edit you can cut and paste you can copy and paste you can delete frames let's say I want to delete the first 20 frames click on the delete button right here and let's say the start frame is 1 the end frame is 20 this button will select the first frame this button will select the last frame which is 221 all right I only want to delete until the 20th frame all right I'm going to click OK now you can see I only have 201 frames let's say I want to copy the first 20 frames to the end of the video I'm going to select this button copy button which will ask you the starting frame which is 1 the end frame is 20 I'm going to click OK now the frames has been copied I'm going to paste it click on the paste button and which will ask you for the frame that you want to paste the frames after I want to select the last frame I'm going to click OK now we have 221 frames okay, let's say that you want to record more than one program so in order to do that go back to program tab click on add and type a name for your program and click OK alright we have three programs right now in order to record these programs the first has been recorded as you can see the first program have 53 frames the program 2 and program 3 don't have any frames so in order to record these programs click on the program that you want to record go back to effect tab click on open video or select a effect from the library it's the same thing we did on the previous step uh, I'm going to click on open video I'm going to select animation and I'm going to click on open I'm going to click on recording button all right I'm going to click on stop recording now I'm going to click on close video capture it's the same thing we did on the previous step all right now I'm going back to the program tab now you can see program 2 have 92 frames recorded I'm going to select the program 3 and do the same as you can see now the program 3 have 47 frames that's how you record multiple programs in the same project there are other features uh, you can use you can also play text animations uh, custom text animations on your video or you can also use a uh, screen capture uh, which will be very useful when it comes to live streaming there are also other features you can custom animate your layout 
by going to the custom tab also there is this screen feature which will allow you to split the layout and play different animations in different sections of this layout at the same time i will discuss this feature in a separate tutorial i'm going back to the effect tab now i have recorded my animation now it's time to export the animation go to export and select generate and export led slash bin file all right uh, which will bring up this export window which will ask you for the pixel LED controller chip number select the chip number that you are using in my case it's LPD 6803 uh, you can use this gamma correction feature if you have gamma issues in your pixel LEDs you can change the brightness of each channel using these sliders okay also you can ch change the channel order I'm going to leave the settings as default and I'm going to click OK which will ask you for the location I'm going to select SD card and click OK alright uh, that's it if you like the video please leave a like if you have any questions please leave a comment